Emancipation Proclamation is one reason why people consider President Lincoln one of America's best presidents. But during the Civil War, Lincoln wrote to his colleague that his paramount object was not to save or destroy slavery, but to preserve the Union. Then what made Lincoln proclaim on January 1st, 1863, that all slaves be free? It was the courage, or as some people might say, the recklessness of a particular man. This man's name was John Fremont, and he was the impetus for Lincoln's famous Emancipation Proclamation. Some consider John Fremont a hero, while others consider him a failure. Regardless, he was born a bastard child, a product of a secret affair. But he grew up into a prominent man, who later became the governor of Missouri. At a time when the issue of slavery was taboo, he, listening to his conscience, acted boldly. He issued that all slaves of Missouri be free. Anyone who opposed him would be shot on charge of treason. In short, he issued an Emancipation Proclamation. But upon hearing this, President Lincoln urged Fremont to rescind his edict. Fremont refused, for he knew that what he did was just. His boldness, or as some people might say, his stubbornness, led to his removal from office. But two years later, Lincoln would invoke that same spirit of Fremont. He would give freedom to slaves, which has been a historical moment forever etched into the minds of Americans. But little do people know that John Fremont's audacious action was the thing that spurred Lincoln to issue the monumental Emancipation Proclamation.